Joaquin Cruz's neighbor. Un zorro, pero muy, muy guapo. Sí, sí, I'm very handsome. Oh. Zorro saw Cui and said, what's going on? ¿Qué te pasa, vecino? Hola. Estoy sola. Voy a quitarme la mascarilla. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están mis lecto lectores? ¿Cómo están? ¿Están muy bien? ¿Están más o menos o están mal? Hmm. Yo estoy muy bien. I have a lovely folk tale for you guys today coming from the Andes Mountains. Do you know where the Andes Mountains are? They're in South America. So they're very far away and to the south. The place that our story takes place looks like this. It's on the side of a beautiful mountain range. And there are lots of little houses and villages and gardens and lovely steps. Are you ready for our story? Okay. Erase una vez. A long, long time ago. Erase una vez. On the slopes of the Andes Mountains in South America, a farmer, a, com a farmer, a campesino, and his hija, his daughter, grew a beautiful, colorful garden full of life. Little Cui, this is Little Cui, a very handsome and clever guinea pig, was the next door neighbor of our campesino. He watched every day as that garden grew and one of his favorite things to do once the veggies were all ready was to sneak into the garden and steal the, gar the farmer's crops, his vegetables, his vegetales. Not very nice. So one day when the campesino's garden was almost ready to harvest to pick, Cui started sneaking in. Lunes, el día lunes, that's Monday, he feasted on mountains of red amaranth leaves. Amaranth is a delicious green you can eat, but it also has tasty leaves like spinach. The very next day, martes, Tuesday, martes, he snuck in and ate some beautiful roasted gem-like purple corn. Maíz morado. Mmm, que rico. <sighs> well, miércoles, the next day, miércoles, Wednesday, he crunched through, through all the spicy, crisp, yellow peppers in the campesino's garden. Mmm, he needed a big glass of milk to cool down his mouth. Jueves, he found some Juicy green striped tomates, tomatoes. Mmm, they were so good. So up until now, Cui had had amaranto on lunes. Martes, he had maíz morado. Miércoles, he had aji amarillo or chile. And on jueves, he'd had tomates verdes. Mmm, que rico. Well, viernes, he was just starting to fill up his bag with some beautiful, creamy, white lupini beans. When... What do you think happened? <gasps> he found himself wrapped up in rope. Oh, no! Cui struggled for hours and hours, but he couldn't get free. The campesino had gotten tired. The campesino had gotten tired of having his crop stolen, and he had set a trap. When along came Cui's neighbor, un zorro, pero muy, muy guapo. Sí, sí, I am very handsome. Oh, zorro saw Cui and said, "What's going on?" ¿Qué te pasa, vecino? 
what's going on? Koi, being a very clever guinea pig, decided to fool the fox. What's that? Oh, don't don't worry about it, Mr. Sorrow. Don't worry. Hmm. Oh, Senor Sorrow, Koi said. Senor Sorrow, it's terrible. A terrible thing has happened. Terrible. La hija, la hija del campesino, la hija del campesino has fallen in love with me. Me ama. And she wants to marry me tomorrow. That's why I'm tied up here. The worst thing of all is she wants to feed me a juicy, fat chicken every day. Senor Zorro, I am an, her I am an herbivore. I do not eat meat. I tried to run away, but they caught me. Zorro smiled. Mmm. Me encanta el pollo. Mmm. He loves chicken. I think Senor Zorro has an idea. Si, si tengo una idea. Mmm. <gasps> little Kui, little Kui, I could never leave you in such a bind. I shall free you and take your place. I will sacrifice myself. Oh! And eat some chicken every day. Mmm. <gasps> and so it was. Senor Soro helped out Kui and tied himself up. And Kui snuck away and went back to his house to watch from behind a bush. Well, can you guys guess what happened? El Campesino made Soro replant all the garden. And he had to work every day to make that garden grow big and beautiful. All the while, El Señor Cui watched and waited for his next chance to sneak into the garden. Y colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. The end. Poor Zorro, he has a lot of work to do. Okay, mis lectores, I'm going to go ahead and put on my mask if I can find it. Do you guys lose your mask? I find myself losing it a lot. Hmm. There it is. Okay, mis amigos. Sigan leyendo, sigan leyendo, y nos vemos pronto. Adiós.